Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with Cookie Monster and Elmo. And we have one of our kittens. Do you remember which one this is? The fluffy one? Her name is Poe. Everyone say hi, Poe. And I think Lala is going to come join soon as well. Now, Cookie Monster and Elmo want to swim, but we're missing something. What is it, tiny fans? There's no water. And there's Lala. Oh, don't eat the fake plants. Let's add our water. Ooh. Oh, Elmo fell over. That's okay. Elmo's a good swimmer. The kittens are wondering what is going on. Oh, and Elmo is covered in bubbles. Let's have a closer look. His whole body is covered in little bubbles. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. The kittens are blocking the camera. There we go. Now, Cooking Monster and Elmo, you're supposed to shower before you go in the pool. Where is the shower? It's behind Cookie Monster. Elmo goes first. We need to push the blue button. Oh, excuse us, Lala. Don't go in the pool. Cats usually don't like water. All right, let's give this a try. Oh, ow. You can see the kittens have been playing with my hands. I have little kitty scratches all over. And the shower's working. And the kittens are watching the water come out of the whale. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, don't eat that. That's plastic. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. I need that back. No, no, no. No, no, no. Silly kittens. Silly kittens. No, 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 no. I think we're just going to have to take the plants out for now. And so that the kitties can't chew them. All right, now it's Cookie Monster's turn to shower. He's a little big, so he's going to have to duck down. No cookies in the pool, Cookie Monster. They'll just get mushy. Oh. The kittens like this. They're getting their feet wet. <laughs> now they can go in the pool. Cookie Monster and Elmo want to go down the water slide. How do you think they get to the top of the slide? Elmo sees a white ladder. Ta-da! Elmo made it. He can go on to the diving board or down the blue slide. Here he goes. Whee! Oh, the kitties liked watching Elmo go down the slide. Let's do it again. Whee! Oh. Poe is trying to get at Elmo, but she doesn't want to get her feet wet. Okay, it's Cookie Monster's turn to go down the slide. And Cookie Monster makes sure that there is nobody at the bottom that he'll slide into. Woo! Oh! And it was a big splash. The kittens are like, what was that? While the kitties are cleaning their paws and drying them up, we're going to talk about the letter of the day. Pool is spelt with the letter P. P is the letter of the day. And pool is P-O-O-L. All right, Cookie Monster and Elmo, it's time to get out of the pool and shower again. And it looks like the kittens are all tuckered out. That was so much excitement for them. And they even got the back of the set wet. Silly kittens. Thank you and goodbye. Hello 
everyone, welcome to Tiny Treasures. We have a new Sesame Street Cookie Monster toy, and it's called Cookies Counting Jar. There's different cookies that are numbered one to 10, and he has his cookie jar, and we're gonna feed Cookie Monster and listen to what he has to say because he's gonna teach us some numbers today. We open up the box and we have all 10 cookies. And as you can see, each cookie has a different number and a different color. Here's number one. So number one has one chocolate chip. They are quite thick cookies. Hopefully Cookie Monster chews them so he doesn't choke. This is number six. So there are six chocolate chips. Cookie Monster has two buttons on his feet. One with a cookie and a bite out of it, with one, two, three, and a musical note. Let's play some music first. Uh-oh, the kittens are up to mischief again. They are ripping the set. Silly kittens. All right, let's push the cookie button. We need to feed Cookie Monster four cookies. One. Two. Three. And four. Now what, Cookie Monster? Eight cookies? But we only have six cookies left. We better take two out of the cookie jar. We need two more to make eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cookie Monster, we gave you eight cookies. Uh oh. Why is Cookie Monster not working? Is he turned on? Uh-oh, he turned off. The kittens must have turned him off. Snack time. Let's try this again. Let's empty out the cookies. All right, now the Cookie Monster is turned on. Let's push the cookie button again. Hello. Yes. Ah, I think Cookie Monster turns off all by himself when he says goodbye. Hmm, I had to turn him on again. Interesting. Two cookies, the red number one, and let me find number two. What color was number two? Oh, two was orange with a blue background. Five cookies, one, two, Three, four, and five. Well, I think we've had enough learning fun with Cookie Monster today. <laughs> I think the kittens are destroying the set. So <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for learning with us today.
tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures and hello to our 1.7 million fans. Today we have a very unique soft storybook called Elmo Loves the Bears, a story of sharing and caring that I found at the second hand store. And look who's joining us for story, Curious Kitty. Hi, Kitty. As you can see, I have a little band-aid that's not from Kitty, don't worry. I caught myself on a sharp edge just yesterday, so that's why I have the band-aid. So we open up this container and uh, Tiny Treasures is with us today. Say hi, Tiny Treasures. Hi. And there Elmo, he's got these cute little feet. Oh, Kitty's really not sure about Elmo. Uh-oh. Uh, it's okay, Kitty. Elmo has his little hands. He's got his big orange nose, big googly eyes, his mouth, and a nice soft back. All right, let's read our story. I'm going to open the book because Tiny Treasures is a little nervous with Kitty. She's a little bit in play mode, but she's going to just listen to the story, right, Kitty? Oh, look at this fun, colorful pages. Oops. Elmo loves the bear family. I have a big family, says Baby Bear. I brought some flowers to share with you, says Elmo. How many bears are in Baby's family? Do you want to count them? One, two, three. There's three bears in Baby's family. Elmo loves porridge, says Elmo. I love the flowers, says Mama. I love a big bowl, says Baby. Who has the smallest bowl? And what color is the bowl? It's purple. Bebo, please share the honey, says Curly. Who has the biggest bowl? It's blue. Elmo loves red, says Elmo. These are my crayons, says Baby. Please share, Baby, says Papa. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Let's look at books, says Baby. Elmo loves being together, says Elmo. Cuddle with me, Elmo, says Curly. Who will read to them? Elmo loves reading together, says Elmo, and I have lots of books, says Baby. Let's read them all, says Mama. How many books do you see? One, two, three. Elmo's mommy says that sharing is caring, says Elmo. I can share my room, says Baby. I can share my doll, says Curly. What can you share? And that's the end of our story. Thank you for reading Tiny Treasures. And we're all done, Kitty. Thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye! Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with our Tickle Me Elmo, but... His tickle me button isn't working today, but that's okay. He's still soft and fluffy and he's going to play a game with us. Hey, look, Elmo. It's you. And this is the game of dominoes and it's a Sesame Street themed dominoes game. Let's open up the lid and pour out our dominoes. Look at them all. I see lots of Sesame Street friends. Who do you see? There's Big Bird and Ernie, Oscar the Grouch, and of course, Elmo himself. Let's play some dominoes, Elmo. We've split up the dominoes into two equal piles. Here is my pile, and this one is Elmo's. Elmo, you play a double first. A double is a domino with the same picture on each side. How about we start with the Elmo double. 
And now it's my turn. I need a tile with L on it. This one. And I put the domino like that. Your turn, Elmo. Elmo's gonna put the domino with his face and Big Bird's on the other side. Good idea. I have a double of Cookie Monster. I'm gonna place it right there. When you have a domino with the same picture on each side, you can place a domino on all four sides. All right, Elmo, it's your turn. We're almost finished our game, tiny fans. Elmo has two dominoes left. Zoe, Oscar the Grouch, and Abby. Can you see where Elmo can play his domino? I see a spot. He can play his Abby domino right here. Now it's my turn. I have Elmo, Ernie, and Big Bird. Do you see where I can play? Right here, Elmo. Okay, Elmo, it's your turn. If you can play this last domino, you win. Can you see where Elmo can place his domino? I do. Congratulations, Elmo. You won. You are out of dominoes first. At the end of the game, we make sure to clean up all of the pieces so that nothing gets lost and it's ready for the next time we want to play. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. We sure hope you enjoyed our video today. We're here to ask our fans for some help. Did you know only 15% of our fans have subscribed to Tiny Treasures? So you can help us by pushing the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us get recognized by YouTube when we gain subscribers. That way we can continue to make fun learning videos every single day. And for those fans who have already subscribed to our channel, a great big thank you. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are going to open a brand new Sesame Street figures pack called Neighborhood Friends by play school and they are all standing in Hooper's store. Let's cut the sticker open and see who's inside. The first figure is Zoe and Zoe loves to dance. What kind of dancer is she? She has a tutu so she must be in ballet. Cookie Monster loves to bake. What does it look like he's baking today? Chocolate chip cookie dough in his bowl and he has his whisk. We already have this Cookie Monster figure, but he's a little more worn. See how some of the paint on his hat is worn off? And same with his whisk, but that's okay. We love baking cookies too. We've made heart sugar cookies dipped in dark chocolate and we added some glitter sprinkles from our cookie kit that we made earlier with a few of our toys. It was a pink cookie house and if you haven't seen the video go ahead and check it out. Next is Big Bird and he loves to play music on his electric guitar. Learning to play a musical instrument is healthy for our brains. Grover loves to help people and he's volunteered to be a firefighter at the local fire hall. When there's an emergency like a house fire, it's important to call the emergency number, pick up the phone and dial nine one. 
one. But it's important to only call that number for a real emergency. Here comes Grover on the little tyke's fire truck. Elmo loves to learn, and he loves school. Let's learn today by reading a book with Elmo in it called Learning Letters. It's a miniature orange book. A is for apple, B is for baseball, and C is for cookie. D is for doll, E is for Elmo, F is for football, and G is for gift. H is for hat, I is for island, J is for juice, and K is for kite. L is for lunchbox, M is for mailbox, and N is for newspaper. O is for orange, P is for pigeon, and Q is for quilt. R is for recycling, S is for snuffy, T is for trash, and U is for umbrella. V is for vase, W is for wheel. And X is for xylophone. Y is for yellow. And Z is for zebra. Which letter is your favorite? All of our characters have something they love to do, which is important when we're feeling stressed and anxious to have something we enjoy doing. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. We sure hope you enjoyed our video today. We're here to ask our fans for some help. Did you know only 15% of our fans have subscribed to Tiny Treasures? So you can help us by pushing the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us get recognized by YouTube when we gain subscribers. That way, we can continue to make fun learning videos every single day. And for those fans who have already subscribed to our channel, a great big thank you. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are with Cookie Monster Elmo. Oh, and some itty bitty ants hard at work. Today we're going on an adventure on our blue Barbie Jeep. Elmo and Cookie Monster stay hydrated and they have their water bottles. We found this treasure at a second hand store. It has great big Goodyear tires to get us through all types of terrain. Elmo is driving today. Buckle up. Cookie Monster has a cookie for the road. Um, nom, 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 nom. He's going to ride in the passenger seat. Beep, beep. Let's go. Cookie Monster spots something unusual. Looks like a little creek. And it's a smiley face the kids made with some jewels. When we smile, we usually feel happy. We're going to learn about emotions today. Here is one of our first emotions we're going to learn about. Hmm, he looks mad. Let's look for another one. Oh, I've spotted one. This one is happy. Don't run over this one. Hmm, this one looks embarrassed. Oh, this guy looks sad. One more emotion. This guy looks stressed. 
Let's have a better look at our emoji emotions. We'll start with the first one. Happy. One of my favorites. But we can't feel happy all the time. Sometimes in life, things happen that make us feel sad. And when we feel sad, we sometimes cry. Did you know it's healthy to cry? Crying helps us feel better. Another thing that makes us feel better when we're sad is a hug from somebody we love. Even adults can feel sad. Sometimes our sadness can turn into madness or anger. It's okay to feel angry, but it's important to deal with our anger in a healthy way. Like doing something to calm us down, maybe listening to music or reading a book or snuggling with a pet you love. When I was a little girl, I was really shy and I got embarrassed. My cheeks would get bright red. As I got older, I became less shy as I became more confident and I only say nice things to myself. Talk nicely to yourself all the time. Our last emotion is stressed or anxiety. Sometimes we can be stressed about things at home, at school, or even COVID. I teach my kids to take nice, big, deep breaths when they're stressed. <sighs> In through the nose, out through the mouth. We're all meant to feel different kinds of emotions. That's what makes us human. But make sure you don't hold your feelings in. It's important that we talk about our feelings and let them out in a healthy way. Let's get back in the Jeep, Elmo and Cookie Monster. And we can't forget our emojis. Tiny Treasures made these for me. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. And thank you to our fans who have already subscribed to our channel. And for those who haven't subscribed, please take a second to push the subscribe button. It helps support our channel so we can continue to make content every single day. Thank you and goodbye. Look, it's Snuffy, and he's going to use his long, strong trunk to pull the red wagon. What do you think's in the red wagon? It's some of Snuffy's friends, Cookie Monster, Elmo, and Ernie and they have some toys and they're having fun outside playing. We are at the park, it's time to get out. They also brought some of their favorite toys. They're two big stuffed tigers. Roar! And their Barney and BJ toys. We're gonna read a story about BJ's fun week. BJ's fun week. Hi, I'm BJ. I have fun every day of the week. Today is Sunday. On Sunday, I fly a kite. And what do you need to fly a kite? You need wind. So if there's no wind on Sunday, BJ won't be able to fly the kite, will he? Today is Monday. On Monday, I play my drum. Today is Tuesday. On Tuesday, I build a birdhouse. Today is Wednesday. On Wednesday, I ride my bike. Today is Thursday. On Thursday, I play basketball. It looks like he's playing with Barney. 
Today is Friday. On Friday, I play in the sand. Today is Saturday. On Saturday, I play baseball. I have fun every day of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. BJ not only had a lot of fun, but he had a lot of outside time and a lot of exercise, playing sports and riding a bike, and got creative with crafting. It's time to load the toys back into the wagon. Ugh, the wagon is too heavy for Elmo. I guess Snuffy will have to pull the friends back home. Hop in, Elmo. Thank you, and goodbye.